Fisher wore many hats. He was an entrepreneur, a politician, a scientist, and a travel journalist. But if there's one pursuit that really defined his life, it was metallurgy. He had a background in coppersmithing. His, wa his father was a coppersmith. That's where he did his apprentice in. But around 1800, he suddenly became interested in iron and steel making. In 1802, which you now celebrate as the founding birthday of GF, Fischer bought the Kreuzermühle in Schaffhausen, where he started experimenting with iron and steel casting. And it was in fact in 1806 where we have evidence that Fischer managed to produce cast steel as the first pioneer on the continent of Europe. Up until that date, it was only the English who managed to produce cast steel and they jealously guarded this secret. In 1825, Fischer produced his famous Meteor Steel, which was an alloy of steel and nickel. And in 1845, he managed to do form casting in steel. But what has this to do with this place? Well, today we are in Sheffield. I'm standing on Callum Island, one of the hearts of the Sheffield steel industry. And Sheffield itself counts as the birthplace of British crucible steel. It was in the middle of the 18th century where Benjamin Huntsman invented this procedure. Right behind me, you can see a Besma converter. It is massive. It could cost 25 tons of steel in one go. Well, at the time of Huntsman, and at the time of Fisher, they weren't working on this industrial scale. They would be casting their steel in small crucibles of about this size, made of ceramic. Fisher came to Sheffield several times, partially to learn from the English masters, but it has to be said that Fisher came up with his own process before coming to Sheffield and partially it was also to show off his own products and let them be judged and compared to the English original products. So at the end it was an equal exchange between innovators where they would engage in shop talk all about steel. A great example for this exchange would be his relationship with Francis Huntsman, the grandson of Benjamin Huntsman, who originally invented the crucible steel process. If you want to learn more about that, head down to the online edition, the link is down below, and look for Francis Huntsman. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.